All right. Um, guess we don't go there. What is this? Sorry. Yeah, that was a huge circle. Um, I think we go this way. That's where the enemies are. Oh, and the mission thing. Okay, I just looked up. My buy it. My buy it. Unlike a couple of these videos, today is a new day for me playing this. So. I forget where I'm at this time. No, I'm not, because I keep forgetting. I don't want your damn thing. I mean, it is nice that for some reason. I think. Is um, breaks your shield more? Or. Up bridge from the or it's just regular stuff. Eh. I'm trying to concentrate. Alright, let's get to work. Honestly, I was playing League of Legends before this, so I'm, the, the pace of this is just kind of messing with me for a second. I'm borrowing this. Alright, right? Can you handle it? I need your help. Nope. Uh, that's not bad. I guess. I'll do this, Sheenan. That seems to be the spot. Well. Hey, there we go. Uh, sorry. We do there. We do there. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't move it. Uh. Focus right. on it. Yeah, but yeah, there's health everywhere. Oh, medium, perfect. Hey, wait, someone's there. Hey, that boy, you're too, right? Oh. Sword, yeah. Yeah. Psionics. They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. Level 50? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks like we have to fight back. Yo! The outcome is the same. Man. Uh. 
Bruh. Come on now. Wait. I don't want to fight again. Oh, skip. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks like we have to fight back. Voice, are you Kasane Randall? Yuito Sumeragi, this old man. Wait, I know that sarcastic voice. Shiden Ritter, I see. You jumped from the time of the Suo incident to this time. <sighs> I think I understand what's going on, although I can hardly believe it myself. Yuito Sumeragi. Seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? No. What? I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year 2020, but that's not the case, correct? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This is Suo in 2070. That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? An earthquake? The end has begun. What do you mean? How does this happen to Suo in 50 years? I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. I, Yuito Sumeragi, Led the world to destruction. What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasana, your power isn't psychokinesis. It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. The red strings? So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? What? 
everyone is gone. Uh, so, the time has come. I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time, like they did just now. How do you know all this? Who told you? Arahabaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here, but we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. Yes, sir. <clears throat> but I can't party I can't with him? Man. Out my way, Don't you usually have lightning? Or thunder, whatever they call it. Electricity. Oh, well. I was about to be so mad if a wall popped up right there and this motherfucker wasn't gonna help me. I'm glad I turned around though. I was gonna say, you gonna stand right out there and just watch me fight? You hoe? But you didn't, so we good. It didn't happen. Oh yeah, I'm glad. Oh yeah. Hi, right, what's up, buddy? My bad. I ain't mean to do that. I know you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiron Rebellion, Nuhimuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. Truth is that you jumped into the future. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others, and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. The Kunad Gate. The pseudo-black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. So, it seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, Every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. <gasps> if I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. 
However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live. And now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do die. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate spans too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. No, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away, though. Others? I can't believe you'd do this! I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny! Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. What? Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. Mm. <sighs> well, there's a shot. My father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage. A false hero who killed the world. So... <laughs> What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. Yep, guess it was enough. That man, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Suo, I think this is real, but is it? Mm. Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Oh, we already... communication from yeah. Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. 
I was say, so what is this? Um, after he finds out we killed. Welcome back, I guess, Asane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. Mm. So you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings, are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. Crazy. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. <sighs> I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? What? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. That damn kid. She didn't fuck you, alright? Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi, but it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? Yes, ma'am. All right. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We all went into the future. Hey, I bet. saw well, it with my own eyes, but I still can't shitter. believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. Mm. What's up, buddy? Damn, you want to go to whatever? The mall? You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. Babe. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. 
Hmm. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me. Aww. But she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. So nice. I was grateful. But it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes mm. while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody is more hurt about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. Yeah, I man. feel better now Dude. that I've given it to you. Cool as hell. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? Shut up. No. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> If only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. Did I not give him his sigil? I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. Did you already say that? It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. He doesn't have a sigil, does he? But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. <laughs> well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed She's like he so really annoying. blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. I want to give you something. Okay. Everybody has a reply. We're Gucci. Uh, anybody in the team right now? You seem pretty knowledgeable about. Oh, yes. Thank you, finally. Jesus Christ. Mm, none of this is better. Oh, we got three now? Bet. Seven, seven. Shut up. A time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as I don't have it. Oh, I do. She gave me the charms, I think, yeah. Plus, I want to duplicate myself. Thank you. <coughs> a siap. I want to talk to Kyoka. Okay, whatever. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. She's a Gemini. Oh. 
I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. <laughs> an important That's so nap. strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's what? wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Okay. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, please. No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. No. Thank you, ma'am. And you get a tool set. I don't know where I'm getting these gifts, but... You have a good eye. Oh yeah, I forgot. Kind of cool, because um, they each have their own little section here. I forgot all about that. So, like, if I give them stuff or whatever, they'll put it over here. Like, she'll put hers over there. For some reason, he has a damn desk he took. Pretty sure this is uh, Genma's whatever and then her like she's playing with it now uh pause but you see what they got are you getting enough rest don't worry about me i know how to take care of myself okay but you're looking unusually disheveled today i just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice disheveled like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. It was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Every 
everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me anytime, I'd be happy to teach you. <laughs> I guess there's a part By of me that assumed nothing. all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. All right, everybody good and happy? Oh. Yep. I don't know what you said, but okay. Uh. I'm so tired. I want to see my sister. That's Captain yeah, Seto's pen. What's it doing here? He is here. Naomi, Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, y yes. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. Heard. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden, are you fine with this? Fuck him. You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <sighs> we pretended not to notice. So, what are you going to do? I... Uh... I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. You're stupid. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All right. Let's head to Suo then, everyone. Heard. Glimpse of, okay. It's too quiet. Maybe the rebel OSF and the Seiron garrison aren't here yet. I'd ask Haruka, but Sinet is down and I can't make contact. Be careful. It looks like someone shut down the Suo defense system. There are others invading Suo. On top of that, the OSF are fighting amongst themselves and I can't get into the operator's room. Sheesh. I'll do my best to find out what's going on. So hide somewhere until then. Hell and high water, that's what's Kyoka, going on. Kasane. Did you just get a telepathic message? You both zoned out one after the other just now. Yes, from Haruka. It looks like someone has shut down the Suo defense system. There's infighting in the OSF, and she can't get into the operator's room. I just got a telepathic message from Haruka, too. So did I. She's having a hard time. OSF infighting. So Karin's rebels are already in the city. Haruka told us to hide. And guess what? Like we Pretty crazy. Because it's too late. I wonder if she can come in. If uh, one of them died or whatever. Use this well. I'm using it. Oh no, it's not. Good. I thought I turned that up. It'll take too long to chip away at its shell. Just use psychokinesis and hit it with something heavy. It's done. I'm getting stronger. What the hell? What is it? Did you see Kagero? 
Yes. I saw him turn invisible and run to the OSF headquarters. Did he? We were fighting others, so there's no way he could have missed us. He might have been running from us. Why would Kagero run from us? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something shady. Mm. <laughs> the OSF are fighting each other. Kagero might know something. Oh, yeah, I, don't I just know remember if we can he track did. him, but let's head to the OSF headquarters. Weren't we told to hide? With others in the city, the only places we can hide are a hideout or a shelter. Civilians use the shelters, so we can't go there. You're right. We can take out others along the way. That should help the citizens a little. Thank you. There we go. Best thing y'all two have said at the same time. Or in the same uh, conversation. Next. It's done. Nah, I was about to throw it at him, but I'm like, damn, girl, you just, you're just pushing truck. You know how much that weighs? Are you just pushing it? Can I push it? Hell no. Nah. What? What the hell? Okay. I seen you push it. That shit crazy. Six buttons at once. I'm going to get burned if I don't do something. If I don't hit it, I'm going to die. God damn it. There we go. Kitchen rummy. Rummy. It's down. Let's finish it. Oh, you. That's not big enough. We can't give up. Thanks for the help. The shell is broken. Aim for its weak spot. It. You own it. That seems to be the spot. Okay, I need to turn chips off. It's over. Can I turn chips off real quick? Uh, settings. Voice, lock on, vibrate, um, aim assist, tracking. No, graphics, no. That was a nice move. Oh, 
Oh, come on, dude. Thank you. That's it. She can't jump. She can't jump that high, so. Do I? No, I don't. City's vision all went That's out a lot once. of holograms. The city computer Arahabaki shut down. It controls the city functions. So if you shut it down, everything goes down. It's so boring without the computer generated signs. So this is what duds say. Duds? What do you mean? People without powers. They don't have powers, so they're duds. It's discriminatory. You're right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that term. The city functions were made to be used by civilians, people with powers. It's not set up for those without powers. Most people do have some kind of power. Arahabaki wouldn't shut down by itself. Karin plotted a rebellion with Seiron. It would be in their way. We're almost to a shelter. You must be kidding me. Are they conducting that experiment in the middle of the city? There's no way. And why are there others in the city? Isn't that why the city functions are frozen? Stop right there. Who are you? OSF? I'm not here for you. Hey, Kasane. What experiment? The one to turn people into others? <sighs> it is, isn't it? It's just like future Yuito said. Get away from the counselor! Are you part of the Rebellion, too? What do you mean by that? We were attacked by psionics on that road over there. Only rebels would be attacking counselors. Wait, were you the only ones attacked? No. Chairman Sumeragi was attacked as well. We all ran. Ah, mm. uh, snap. <laughs> Hold them. They know about the metamorphosis experiments. Hey, wait! If Chairman Sumeragi is up ahead, I may be able to ask him about metamorphosis. Now, nah, remember, if he doesn't die we gotta here, kill him. Maybe we can avoid that ruinous future. Probably not. Who is messaging? I got it, okay. Like, they took away my whole... Oh, wait. Did I use it all? My drive? I don't even know. Type view. Looks like I've improved. It is. It's like a. Uh, I don't even know what the hell they call it. It's like a chainsaw. Nah, go to sleep, buddy. Alright, come on, next.
Hey, bro, you don't mind if I save real quick, right? Bet, my guy. Um, take those. Can I buy? Oh, wait, enhance. Oh, uh, exchange. Can I buy any, um, type of combat? Don't care. What is that? Reproduction? What? Said, uh, Accurate will improve their memory. What does that mean? Should I buy these? Do they do stuff? Grab Bury Jot. Increases focus. Eh. I don't know. Uh. I don't think I can buy them. Oh, that's what I did. I crafted this this stuff and then I sold them. Because I didn't need the, you know, the stuff that I was crafting. Alright, whatever. Uh, thank you. We got what do we got? Masterpieces, concern, and a message lobby. So I made decision. Don't know. Don't care. What's up, bruh? Oh, you kill. Oh, damn. Damn. Damn, Kagro. Chairman Sumeragi. Yes. Oh, this is... The OSF. That's... Togetsu. This wound... It's too late. This is how Wait, she gets framed. don't die. Can new Himuka turn people into others? I... Can't... Tell you. I'm serious. Answer me. It's... Too late for me anyway. Huh? Yuito. Oh, this is how it happened. Dad. Are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? You need to whoop my ass! In the end, they'll still think I killed him. But that future wasn't supposed to happen if I wasn't here. I'm here, so that future won't happen. Yuito, you must die. What? What are you... I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! <sighs> you promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die! I don't have a choice. Oh, yeah. Calm down, Kasane. Make this through. Are you actually trying to kill Yuito? Then answer me. Go. Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. Please, stop. The chairman is already in away. No, I should think about that. I need to focus on killing Yuito. I'll be pursued for the assassination of the chairman. If I let him go now, I might not get another chance. Wow, bruh. Like, just cold-hearted. Straight to it. Um, I guess it won't be that easy. 
I'm not getting anywhere like this. If I use the brain field, then I could definitely get Yuito. Yes, I should be able to do it. I have to now. I want to protect the world to save my sister. I'll do whatever I need to do that. I will kill him. God damn it. I guess. My brain is melting. Destructive. Game over. Oh, I was like, yo. Y'all just put me in an impossible situation. It's like I'm losing myself. This is a brain field? Kasane! I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. You're still breathing. I'll finish it now. Wait! What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill me? And my father... Kasane... Did you stab my father? Wait, what's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Stay here and you'll be caught. Get back to Sheedan if you want to escape. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. You are the insane one, sir. They control the city, the information, and the people with Sinet. Not even your thoughts are free. Stock born to be used by the state. New Himuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey, Sunny's getting away. Wait! Wait! Nah, buddy, sorry. Citizens of New Himuka. 
Ceyron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. I stood at the front lines of Ceyron and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceyron as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control, a revolution. To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, come join my cause in Ceyron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. Kagero, why did you stab Chairman Sumeragi? What? How about you tell me why you tried to kill Yuito? Because I was asked to. Okay then, so was I. My employer ordered me to assassinate the chairman to stop New Himuka's rampage. I planned on framing okay. someone for the assassination, but unfortunately for you, you took my bait. I'm sorry, but I have no plans to confess. Kagero, you're from Togetsu and you're a believer in the Togetsu faith. Hmm. Did Togetsu order you? Interesting. I cut my ties with Togetsu. Besides, there's only one group who'd want the chairman dead at this point. So you were ordered by Seiron. That's enough for now. Yuito will catch up to us if we keep talking here. We'll retreat to Vision City for now. We can talk then, alright? Yes. Kagero, don't try to run by turning invisible. I'm holding on hmm. to you. I'm no match for you, Major Kyoka. I'll be a good boy. That <laughs> man immediately. Sorry, Kasane, for making you the fall guy. I didn't do it on purpose. For real. Forget that. Why did you assassinate Chairman Sumeragi? I can't believe someone from Togetsu would trust Seiron. Don't ask me. I just did what I was told. Maybe it's because my power is suited. I finally found you. Karin. Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. Damn. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. Okay. I will crush the new Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Ceyron as well. Well, that works for me. No. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. Huh? <gasps> you two have known each other that long? Well, you know, I... So, what are you all going to do? I... I planned to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn... To be honest, you really piss me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her. Won't you? I will do all I can. Lies. All right. Then I'm going to say Ron too. Didn't he take your powers? Am I confused? You'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well. I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah. I'm the culprit. And Sheedon is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? 
Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. She's smart. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Seiron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. Mm. It's nice to have a place to rest. Mm -hmm. They don't they don't Once notice I get the to bill. Ceyron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi.